Okay, recurrent neural networks. The core idea is that you process each time step in the same way and influence the next time step through a hidden memory. Okay, so every time step you will process the input in the same way and, but that hidden representation at that time step will get influenced by what happened in the past. So this one would get influenced by that. And very often you would actually see um, them basically condensing this idea into a vector diagram that looks something like this to just indicate the recurrence. Now, what we're going to try and do um, is we're going to actually try and do backpropagation through uh, RNN. Okay? And how I'm going to do that is, um, is I'm going to use this computational graph idea that I use when I think about neural networks. And it's slightly involved, but if you do get it, then you actually can quite easily derive the backpropagation procedure for recurrent neural networks, which in itself is a little bit complicated. Okay. Do you have an, a sense of an idea of a computational graph from your neural network course or from the, I don't know, who actually watched my neural network videos? Put in somewhere, my heart is in there, right? So you should really watch it. Um, I'm fine. Okay, let me just show you the computational graph for a recurrent neural network. Go and watch the video if you don't know what a computational graph is. The computational graph for a recurrent neural network will look like this. Okay. And in these graphs, what you have is little nodes. Okay. The nodes are operations that you perform on the inputs of the nodes. And normally what you have is you've got um, input vectors or, or parameter matrices serving as the inputs to these operational blocks. Okay. So for instance, H3, the operation defined in this block would be the following. would be to say, take a nonlinearity take my input at time step 3, multiply that with the input-output matrix, this one, okay, um, add the hidden-to-hidden -hidden thing, multiply it by what happens at the previous time step, so take what happened here, multiply that with that, and then add this um, bias vector here. Okay, that would be the operation defined by this specific block here. That operation would obviously be the same here and here, but the inputs would be different. In the case of a recurrent neural network, there's actually one set of inputs which are shared between all the blocks. Okay, what are those? What stays the same in this block and this block? Okay, what changes? X3 changes and H1 changes. What stays the same? The weights. The weights, that's exactly right. So actually this diagram is a little bit incomplete or a little bit confusing. Because really what you have is you just have one W IH matrix serving as the input here and that same WIH serves as the input there. Okay, and then the same with the bias vector and the HH matrix. Okay, and really what you can do is you can like delete these from the diagram because there's only one WIH that you're going to wiggle in order to get my loss down. Okay, um, so let me leave the diagram like that.